How to start up the iPhone 14. Welcome to when I had a smartphones tutorial videos. In this video, I'll be starting up this iPhone 14 Pro for the very first time. Um, the way to do that is hitting the side button right over here. Just go ahead and press and hold. And I'm going to be going through the process that it takes pretty much to get it to the home screen, get everything fired up to the beginning, pretty much get it through the setup wizard, startup wizard, activation wizard, whatever you want to call it. This uh, beginning from the power button all the way to get into the home screen. That's going to be my main goal, my main focus. So here we have the hello screen. I'm going to go ahead, swipe up, and select our language, which is going to be English, and I am in the United States. So I'm going to set uh, select that. Uh, for the quick start, I'm just going to go ahead and set up manually. Um, here, if, um, I'm just going to go ahead and select my web browser. I'm just going to go ahead and type in my password. And now that I have that set in there, I'm just going to go ahead and hit join. Uh, once it uh, gets the password, it's going to start this process through Wi-Fi. So it says it may take a few minutes to activate your iPhone. So we're going to go ahead and wait through this. And so now it take me to, took me to the data and privacy um, page. I'm just going to go ahead and hit continue. And it's asking for Face ID. Uh, that's something you can set up later. Um, you can set up now by hitting continue. I will not. I will set this up later. So I will select the setup later option. So now we are on create a passcode. So the passcode options, if you wanted uh, to set up, you can set up an alphanumeric code, a custom numeric code, four digit numeric code, and then don't use passcode. Since I'm going to be using this for tutorials, I don't really need any kind of security on here. So I'm going to uh, select no. And it says using a passcode is highly recommended. Are you sure you want to use it? Um, I'm going to say don't use passcode. And I'm going to skip on that. Now, if you have a device and you wanted to back up your device, switching devices, you wanted to do that. Um, th these are the options. So right now we have restore from iCloud backup. So before, let's say you were going to send a device in, you back it up to your iCloud or to your Mac or PC. You can use these options. So there's restore to, um, from iCloud backup, restore from Mac or PC, transfer directly from iPhone. So you had another iPhone, they pretty much talk to each other and transfer the information between themselves. Um, um, so and then move data from an Android and then don't transfer apps or data since I'm going to be setting this up as a new device I don't need any anything on there. So I'm gonna go ahead and select that uh, If you have the Apple ID you can go ahead and sign in here I'm not going to be using it. So I'm gonna go ahead and select this uh, forgot password or don't have Apple ID I'm gonna go ahead and select that and from here. It's gonna say oh you forgot it You know you forgot your password or your Apple ID you can select that um, create a free Apple ID if you're new to the Apple on the Apple scene you can go ahead and do that or set up later in settings and that's what I will be doing here it says are you sure you don't want to use the Apple ID it gives you options um, things where you're gonna be kind of missing out on I'm gonna go ahead and select do not use terms and conditions go ahead and agree there's no way to get around that you have to agree to those and then it says keep your iPhone up to date um, getting the latest in, uh, information so I'm gonna go ahead and hit continue there um, I, I message and FaceTime if you wanted to set that up hit continue I will not so I'll hit not now um, location services I'm gonna go ahead and disable those just because I'm not gonna be using them I'm not gonna be using this to travel um, when the time comes and I do decide to use it I can always turn that on so are you sure you want to disable location services yes I'm gonna hit ok and now for your um, setup cellular if you're gonna be um, transferring from another iPhone or use a QR code to set up your a device so you can uh, transfer a phone number from a nearby iPhone or scan a QR provided by your carrier to pretty much activate your device. I will not be doing that. This is just going to be a demo phone. So I'm going to go ahead and set this up later in settings. Um, are you sure you want to skip the eSIM setup? Um, I will be skipping that. So I'm going to go ahead and skip there. Um, here with Siri, I will also set this up later in settings. Um, screen time, get a weekly report on your insight of what you're using. Since this is not accurate information for me, I will select um, the setup later in settings. Um, iPhone analytics, I will not share. And then the appearance, you want light or dark, it doesn't really matter. I'm just going to hit continue. Display zoom if you want them larger, more zoomed in or zoomed out. Uh, as you guys could see there, I'll just select with what they have on default. And then emergency um, SOS, it tells you how to do it. You can press and hold the emergency SOS by holding the side button and either volume buttons to make an emergency call. Um, crash detection, it'll contact through your car, stuff like that. So, Go ahead, hit continue. Welcome to iPhone. So swipe up to get started. And just like that, you know, you guys, you guys could see different background um, setup cellular. Uh, not now. Um, so right as you guys could see, <clears throat> everything is similar. If you swipe all the way over, you can see there's still this news type page there. Our apps, a couple widget type pieces here in the back. So that is a little bit newer for the iPhones. And just like that, regular apps. 
swipe down to still the same menu leaving leaving the apps is from from that side so there you guys have it quick setup as you guys could see kind of went through all that process get through just to get to that home screen and now the tutorials will start so if you guys like to stay tuned for helpful tips and tricks on the iphone 14 pro be sure to do that check out that playlist in the description below thank you guys all for watching have a good day